welcome to our channel. We are Caitlin and Patrick, two adventure seekers that recently sold all of our belongings to fulfill our lifelong dream of living sustainably. We purchased 15 acres of raw land in the mountains of East Tennessee. Since moving to our property, we have installed our solar system for all of our power needs and our rainwater catchment system for all of our water needs. Join us as we continue to build out our off-grid homestead in the mountains and navigate this adventure we call life. If you guys missed last week's episode, be sure to go back and watch that one. But we basically had everything freeze up here last week. We had temperatures in the negative 5 to 6 range. Our fresh water in our camper froze. We had no running water in the camper for almost 8 days. And our black and gray tank outlet lines both froze. So go back and rewatch that one if you haven't already. And we appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Look who's back. Made it up the mountain. Somehow. Got, got some chains. Made it up the mountain. Yep. And now we are trying to dump our black and gray tank. So our septic is over there because our house will sit where the truck and Pat are standing. So we didn't really see the point in actually going underground with it to make it easier to dump here because this isn't going to be the final resting spot for the camper. Not only that, we probably won't own the camper once the house is built, most likely, but the camper actually is going to sit over here when we're building the house, so it'll actually be quite a bit easier. So, would have been a lot of work to trench it all the way over here, but it doesn't really make a difference anyway. Yeah. So, we're going to attempt to see if we can get our black and gray tanks dumped, because it's yeah. been a week, and usually we don't go that long. Well, we can get close to that, but... Uh... Yeah, obviously it's sunny today. The great thaw has begun. The weather's supposed to warm up a lot over the next couple days. Yeah, our Today's water lines are still frozen. That's not going to be remedied until tomorrow once, um, you know, it gets above 32 degrees for an extended period of time. Yeah. So, but uh, we're going to have our cousin Eddie moment and dump the. Icicles under here, they're insane. It's from the roof on the camper plus the snow. It's crazy. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can get this open. We did put some insulation and heat tape around it, but I don't think it's probably kept up with what we've been doing. So as you can see, we oh I should not have worn my house shoes out here. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's still really deep there. Yeah. We did kind of throw some wood panels up here the best we could with what we had on the property at the time. I doubt it's done a whole lot of work, but we also have put a little space heater down there to hopefully help. But we're gonna see. Don't, don't judge how. Feel very cold, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little it's a ghetto little, looking. But... Yeah, we just kind of did it last minute before the cold came. Yeah. So uh, let's try and see if something. Thought you the black for... first. I need the heat gun. Yep, that's frozen. I figured. Okay, we'll go Dang. grab that. Not surprised. Well, because our water lines run underneath the camper here. Like you can see, it's insulated. They run under, underneath the floor there, so we can't really heat gun those. That's why we're having to wait till it warms up enough. Yeah. But here you go. Thank but you. we're going to try to at least get these flowing. Hopefully, the tanks are not all Thank the way full. So it's still beautiful out here. The sun is really nice today and the fact that it's 30 degrees, um, you can see it's still pretty solid there. Patrick did, he was able to get some chains just outside of Knoxville and drive back up here so that he can leave me the truck. So that's a positive. He was able to get up our road with the chains. So that means I could potentially leave if the snow isn't fully melted. Hopefully that won't have to happen now, but at least I have the option to leave if I need to. The only reason I'll leave is for propane and fuel for the generator, but since we're getting good sun today, neither one of those should be much of an issue, hopefully. What's up, guys? So, uh, it's a new day. We were unsuccessful in dumping the black tank last night. We couldn't get the uh, black tank 
exterior pipes warm enough to be able to dump. I mean, we got them warm enough to kind of slide um, some of the ice down, but it got stuck in our external, what we call stinky slinkies. I don't know the actual name for them, but anyway, as you can see, it's still, we still have a good bit of snow on the ground. It is sunny. It is warm. It's going to be, I think, 37 today. I think right now it's about 35-ish, or sorry, it's going to be 40 today. Right now it's about 35 degrees, so things are starting to melt slowly. Um, but yeah, I've got a few things done this morning. I've got a heater under the camper again, trying to get that all thawed out so that hopefully today the black tank can be dumped with the warmth outside. If not tomorrow, it shouldn't be an issue. And um, I've actually got the four-wheeler all fixed up, so Pat was able to pick up the new oxygen sensor before he came back the other day with the chains. So um, got the new oxygen sensor on there, it fixed the fan, So um, and the throttle cable is no longer frozen since it's warm enough. <laughs> so should be in good shape there. It'll be nice to be able to go check out the road before I drive down, um, but I don't plan on leaving unless I need to go get fuel or propane. So. Should be in a lot better shape now. Just got to get these black tanks thawed out. The um, fresh water in the camper did um, drain out earlier. I did see that happening. We kind of released the plugs for them last night, trying to see if they would thaw out today. Um, it doesn't appear that the fresh water lines are thawed out completely, um, but I'm not so sure that's the issue. I think it actually might be the... Um, the pump itself so here in a little bit I may take a heat gun to it because when we turn on the water pump even if there's water in the lines it usually you can kind of hear it priming and it's not been doing that at all and if if the water drained out of the freshwater lines which I've seen a little bit come out I don't know if it's all of it then hypothetically that pump should kick on even if there's no water in the camper so I'm thinking the pump's frozen even though the pump is internal in the camper it's in one of our dinette bunks and I'm not sure that it gets enough uh, heat in there it's kind of on an outside wall so uh, i'm gonna try to see if i can't get that working today i'm probably not gonna fill the camper with water because it is gonna be 28 again tonight or I think maybe it's 24 i can't remember so i'll probably wait till tomorrow to do that um just because it's gonna just do the same thing and the water in our tanks over there is really cold so um, it's just pretty close to freezing already, so I just don't see the point. So at least one or two more days without fresh water or running water, I guess. But hopefully by the end of this week, we'll be able to. This is day eight of having snow. And um, yeah, it's uh, time for it to go. Hi, guys. It's a new day. Um, I was successful today in dumping the black and gray tank, finally. So... Um, that's pretty exciting. Never thought I'd be excited to dump our black and gray tank, but you know, yeah, so I was actually able to get water in the camper. Um, it wasn't easy. <laughs> our, um, IBC totes that we catch our rainwater from had kind of frozen at the, the outlet part and we keep those closed off. So water's not running through the pipes and exposed. Cause we don't have those underground. We'll probably will put those underground a little bit, at least like the outlet pipe part. Um, once we have an excavator up here and we're building the house and putting in our larger tank for the house. But, um, until then we just do this. <laughs> so, and it's worked pretty well. I mean, we've had to thaw it out a few times or wait a little bit, but anyway, um, turns out that the water lines in the camper weren't the issue, um, as far as it not working. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they probably were frozen at some point, but, um, you know, I, I was thinking it was kind of odd that when we turned on the water pump, you you couldn't hear it prime or anything like that um, while we were having the big freeze. But I was also thinking, like, you know, that just doesn't seem right. But we had so much else going on and so many other things we were trying to fix. It just seemed kind of low priority because we didn't have water. We just didn't have running water. Um, but, yeah, I, I was just like, something just doesn't seem right. So I uh, opened up the... Um, where like our pump and our tank is yesterday and I was looking at the pump and there was like a loose wire so I figured out where it went plugged it back in and it started working so I wasn't able to put water in the camper until today so I didn't have running water yesterday but I was able to get 30 gallons in there today so I'm wondering if we hadn't um 
basically what we did when we, when the pump did freeze the first day, we put like a heating pad on top of it. And I think we knocked that wire loose. And you know, when, when things are this cold, you don't really think about like, oh, maybe it got unplugged, maybe a wire got loose, you know, something like that, because you're just thinking the pipes are frozen, because that would be the common sense thing to think. Um, but yeah, I should have known better when I realized that it wasn't priming or doing anything. But anyway, got it fixed at least. Um, it's been a frustrating few days trying to get that going, but um, we have running water again. We're able to dump the black and gray tanks, so we are back to business as usual. Finally, it only took, let's see, it was last Sunday when it snowed, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 10 days, 10 days without running water. Actually, it's probably more like nine, but really thankful to have running water. It's, it's the little things that you may not think about um, when you're living off grid being so important or just in general in life, um, but yeah feels really good. It feels like the first time we got the pump house up and running and we were able to feed water into the camper um, and have running water consistently. That was a really good feeling and we're back to it. So that's nice. Definitely makes you, makes you put things into perspective for sure. As you can see, the snow has started melting and um, it's all a good bit of it, but it is starting to melt. Some of our like gravel area starting to reveal itself again which is nice and hopefully by tomorrow um i can get out of here and run some errands but the temperatures this week are going to be uh gosh i think today is like 50 and then i think it's tomorrow or thursday we're supposed to be in the 60s which is insane but that's typical tennessee weather for you it snows 12 inches and then it's 60 degrees a few days later just bipolar weather but yeah so all is good we survived now we're thriving <laughs> also I forgot to mention um, it seems like all the water lines in the camper are okay even though they were probably frozen for several days um, but since they're pecs they typically can withstand a lot of um, freezing I think they can expand like twice their size and I believe they're half inch lines in there so that's a positive doesn't look like we're gonna have to do any repairs on any of that as far as we can tell so far and then where the black tank and gray tank outlet pipes froze up everything seems okay there um I think we may have a small leak somewhere in there but I wasn't really able to pinpoint it yet so um but it's not a constant thing so I think it'll be okay for now but we'll have to get that repaired so all in all Definitely could have been a lot worse. We could be doing a lot of repairs to the camper, but definitely a positive thing that it's PEX lines and a little bit newer of a camper. So a lot better shape than um, had they not been PEX. Hi guys. We're back. Yeah, well, he's back. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're back to normal at least. Uh, today it's been 60 degrees, which is crazy. Right. <laughs> like we were what, negative five last week? Colder. Okay. Negative six. Wind chill was negative 15. Well, at the actual temperature. Yeah. Um, but yeah, which is crazy. And now it's 60 degrees. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt and I've been working outside all day. Um, so we haven't really obviously gotten, or I haven't gotten much done this week other than just like fixing all of the issues we had from all the cold weather and the snow. Um, so I've just been kind of cleaning up a little bit here and there because snow makes things really messy. Yeah. So I've been organizing, cleaning things up. I didn't tape any of that because like you guys don't want to watch me do all that <laughs> and <laughs> you wouldn't have wanted to see how out of order everything was either. So, but anyway, as you can see, there's no snow left. We've had a lot of rain. We're supposed to get more rain tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's just where we're going to leave you guys this yeah. week. Back to normal. Yeah, everything's good. Camper's in good shape, thank God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're just trucking along like we normally do. Thanks for watching. See ya.